Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're talking about Judas Priest on this episode. They, 42 years ago, released Point of Entry. You know, uh, man, they was hitting it big on previous releases, you know, dropping, you know, British Steel, you know, Living After Midnight, uh, Golly, some of these songs, they was just breaking through to uh, commercial success, you know. Uh, British Steel album, first one that took him, that, that's what took him over the top uh, back in the day. So, 42 years ago today, uh, Point of Entry was uh, released, and, and it is still that successful, you know, commercial success with Judas Priest that uh, they put out with the previous uh, albums. And, you know, they, um, and and just continued on. That's, uh, you know, with the point of entry, bringing them hits out, you know, heading out on the highway, which still stands today. Hot Rockin', you know, was another release on air, you know, that has stood the test of time and all the way. But uh, then, then you have your other ones, Deep Cuts, Desert Plains, Don't Go, Solar Angels, Troubleshooting, On the Run. You know, just a great album in particular. And that's what's so uh, uh, confusing in today's Judas Priest. They were so big back in the late 60s, 70s, 80s, just tearing up the charts that where they are today. So, and that could be a member change, uh, changing in and out, not the, not the original members, or it just something didn't resonate like Iron Maiden. You know, they, there is, back in that day, they was big as Iron Maiden, but Iron Maiden just stood the test of time and they, they just keep on thriving, playing stadiums. You know, when Judas Priest at this present time are, are playing small festivals. But uh, whatever the reason, they still tour uh, and and they're good. I went and seen them last year uh, on the 50 years of Judas Priest tour. Really good. Just rocking out the songs. Uh, but again, uh, Judas Priest, uh, 42 years ago, point of entry. Uh, check that album out. And uh, let us know here on Metalhead Nation Garage how you feel about it. Uh, all comments are welcome here on this channel. And we'll see you next time on Metalhead Nation Garage. Hello, welcome back to Metalhead Nation Garage. I'm Chris, your host. Hey, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're going to talk about some soundtracks today. This new movie that hit the... Uh, theaters uh, this week was Cocaine Bear. And we have a, a you know, Jefferson Starship, uh, Jane, their song Jane is on. This is the first thing you hear when you uh, tune in the, at the beginning of the Co Cocaine Bear uh, movie. But yeah, the, you know, another classic rock uh, band that's on a soundtrack. I mean, they're all up and down nowadays. Uh, most of them's on these Marvel superhero uh, movies and DC uh, superhero movies. But uh, Cocaine Bear uh, got Jefferson Starship. They got Jane to lead off this movie, this uh, number one track on this soundtrack. But, you know, uh, the group's been around for a long time. It was formerly... Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship is out touring this year. Uh, they're opening for Brett Michaels uh, on a summer tour that starts up in about uh, five to six weeks. Um, but, uh, you know, and talking about you know, Jefferson uh, Starship, Airplane, you know, some of their great songs over the years, you know, Sarah, It's Not Enough, Miracles, Find Your Way Back, great hit in the 80s, Runaway, great hit in the 70s. I mean, they started out in the early 60s and continue today. Uh, we'll be releasing a new album later this year, but No Way Out, and then we drop it back to one of their best tracks there. That's on Cocaine Bear as Jane's. So uh, that'll be this episode of Metalhead Nation Garage, and we'll see you next time.